Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica and today I'm going to be doing a much requested review of the Oliso Pro Smart and the Oliso Mini Irons. These are my current sewing irons. I've had them both for approximately one year, if not just a little bit longer than that. They were sent to me by Oliso for review. And so today we're gonna to put both of these irons to the test. I'm gonna show you how to use them and pros and cons for both. So here we have both irons. This is of course the Pro iron and this is the one that I probably use the most frequently and then here is their little mini version this one is super cute it's also extremely small but it gets very very hot so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna iron a few samples or press a few samples with both of these just so you can kind of see the difference um, in the two I think the mini is perfect for traveling or if you are going to be sewing at a friend's house or something like that it's also good for smaller blocks or things where you need to get in there a little bit tighter so you're not like you know having to deal with this super big one but I think on average now having both of them for about over a year or so I definitely use the Pro Smart, the larger one a little bit more mainly just because it can kind of handle everything and so um, yeah there's no reason to heat up both so I kind of reserve my mini for if I'm gonna go somewhere or if I have something really small I'm working on all right let's go ahead and get started now a few of the features that I want to talk to you about these are both heating up so I'm not going to touch the plate but here you can see the mini plate. It's a nice, smooth plate, and those holes right there are for steam. You can put water in this guy. And then the little buttons right here on the side, you'll press in for steam. And then up here on the top, you have your knob. So right now it's on off, and so you just have to turn it, and you can change it to the heat settings. And there's one dots, two dots, and three dots, and of course that's how much heat you want. For purposes of this demonstration, I'm gonna go ahead and put it all the way on the three dots just so you can see all the way hot. And then it does come with this little resting pad that you can set it on and then on the other side it actually has these little grooves that the iron can slide in so that you can actually hang it up on your wall and store it which is kind of handy but when you're using it you just flip it over to this side and then place your iron right on top of it and then it keeps your ironing surface safe let's take a quick look at the pro iron now as you'll notice if I grab it with my hands the little feet on the bottom come up and as you can see this is a really nice large surface lots of holes for steam right there and then this pink thing right here and then this hole right here is where the little feet come up so that when you set it down on your ironing board and remove your hand it lifts itself up so now your ironing surface is safe it's also not a sit up on the end type of iron that way if you have have, um, younger kids born and running around or animals or anything like that hopefully they won't come up and accidentally burn this on them you know if you had set it up kind of like you do a regular iron so both of these irons are designed to be set face down on your surface and then taking a quick look at the top of this you've got a dial right here where you can do your different settings of course it has several different settings it's got an off setting and then the one dots two and three based on whatever you're going to be um, pressing and then up here you have your steam settings so you can turn it all the way off or you can adjust it to have more or less steam and then these little buttons up here are going to be your steam buttons if you press this one right here you're going to be doing steam and if you press this one right here it will shoot water out the front of the iron here onto the fabric and i found that's really helpful when pressing something that's really creased like fabric straight off of the bolt it's really nice to be able to just squirt a little bit of water on it and press over it it really helps get rid of those creases it also has this eye touch on and off switch which you can turn off if you don't like the eye touch so if you turn it off it sets it back down self down and you can set it up like a regular iron if you like now I haven't really done this because that's the whole purpose of buying this iron for me so I left it on and then over here on the side you can just open this little bit up right here and you can pour water into there if you like steam I will say that this iron is kind of hot enough on its own that I don't actually use steam very often and then same with this little guy if you open it back here on the back you can pour water right in there and then you can have steam on him as well and this iron gets hot enough on its own that I honestly don't usually use steam when I use this little iron but that's just my personal preference all right let's do a few samples here 
I'm gonna move the big one out of the way and I've just got um, a piece that I have just sewed together and then I've got another piece that's just from my stash that's all nice and crinkly. So we're gonna try that out and then I have the same kind of type of things, we're gonna try steaming them as well. So let's do the dry test first. And so I do have this set on the three setting and so we're just gonna go ahead and give this a little press. And as you can see, I accidentally pressed that corner there, but I didn't even hardly press it at all and this is actually pretty flat now and then here's just a regular pieced piece of fabric and so I'm gonna set my seam first and then just press that open and voila I feel like this does a really good job at pressing those seams okay so that is gonna be our dry test right here for the mini now we're gonna do the dry test for the bigger iron I have a nice kind of crinkly folded piece and I've got that as well. So let's do our seamed one first. So I'll just set my seam and then just press it. And again, very nice. And then here's a nice piece that has a pretty good crease in it. I don't know if you guys can see that, hopefully you can, but this has been folded in half, probably from binding in my stash for a while. So let's see how it handles that crease. And creases like that I find actually work a lot better if you use that um, front water but I feel like I didn't even really need to do that on this piece it's nice and smooth and that's no steam so here are my no steam samples for both so the ones on the left over here are the mini and then the ones on the right are the pro smart iron all right, so I've turned my irons a little bit so you can see where to add the steam at. Now in this big one, I, like I mentioned, you just can pull this open right here. And in this little mini, you just lift open the back right here. And they both do come with a little watering can, I guess, if you will. So the big one obviously comes with a larger little waterer. And then the small one comes with this little mini one. And so all you do is pour your water in and you can see in there so you can kind of see. Now I didn't get this very full because we're just gonna do a sample and I don't wanna leave a bunch of water in my iron. I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell on the camera there, but this little thing right here is a window and they have them on both sides. So you can kind of see your water level in there and I'm trying to jiggle it around to see if you can tell. I can't tell if you can see it in the camera, so I apologize, but I can see it in person. So that's how you know how full your iron is. And then we'll go ahead and take this one and just kind of set it right in there and then you can just close it. And then this one is clear right here up on the top and so you can see you can see pretty easily your water in there. All right, let's let that heat up a little bit and I don't know if you can hear or not, but this guy is already steaming over here. There's different settings like I mentioned on the steam that you can use and I kind of tend to keep mine on the middle setting, but of course you can do different ones based on whatever fabric you're using. So I've got this piece that was really pressed pretty good in half because I use this for binding. So let's go ahead and try that with steam. Bam. Okay, crease is pretty much gone. Um, I also have another one of these. It's pretty crinkly. I didn't even press it at all. I just sewed a couple pieces together to show you. I'm just gonna get some of the wrinkles out there. I sewed them together wrong, but there you go. Nice and flat for that one. So that one is the one with steam. And then just for the fun of it, I had this other crinkly piece here that was shoved in my stash. I'll just run that across. Um, one thing that I really like about this iron that you probably can't tell from the video is it's pretty heavy on its own and that's why I think you don't really need to use the steam very much uh, just because the weight of the iron itself really does a pretty good job at pressing your fabric. Okay, so let's get this guy out of the way and we'll try our mini. So now to get the steam out of him, like I mentioned, you have to press these. Oh, can you hear that? So he's steaming really good there. Now one thing I find, and you can do it with this hand as well while you're pressing, um, is that this one's a little bit awkward to press the buttons on. Um, simply because you're kind of holding it and then on top of that you're like, oh yeah, I need to press the steam button. Um, but I think it's just something you get used to as you've used it. So as you can see, 
he handled the seams just as good as the pro okay so here are our test strips now these are the minis and this one is the non steam this one is the one with steam and i think looking at these i feel like the steam definitely did a little bit better on the mini this one's popping up just a little bit here where this one is like super duper flat um but honestly it, you know that's just being super picky this one is actually really good too and then even the um, nice flat pieces that we pressed both very flat so i think that that kind of shows it does a good job either way and then this one is our larger iron here is the flat piece again here is a pressed piece this one is without steam these are the two that we did with steam and as you can see very nice and flat and then here is the pieced one very flat and then here is our other kind of crinkly piece that we pressed as well so as you can see both of these perform really really well i feel like they're quite comparable actually i do prefer the larger one like i said this is kind of my go-to iron mainly because you can handle kind of more space especially if you're going to be pressing something like an entire quilt top um, or you know something larger a quilt backing things like that it's nice to be able to cover more area with this one it also has this spray out feature in the front of it which the mini does not have and i do really like that feature Feature as well I use that on kind of my tougher creases um, but I think overall performance wise I've been really happy with both of these irons and it's hard to show you in this video but they both have extremely long cords so here's the cord for the mini Just keeps on coming so there you go for that and I'll find out statistics or how, how long these are and just put them in the screen below for you and then here is the one for the Pro Smart iron, like I said, this one is extremely long as well. Obviously, the minis is just a little bit shorter, um, but I really have never felt like I'm running out of cord with either of these. And then, like I said, the mini has this flip side that you can actually push it in there. It says on there that it's the storage side, and then it just stays on there. And then I've seen people use this little hoop and hang these guys on the wall from it. And so it's a really cute way to store your iron. And then, like I said, you just take it out and rest it on this side. And it actually does say that on the pad. It says resting side and storage side on the pad, just so that you don't get confused. So I think that's it. If you have any questions on either one of these irons, please feel free to leave a comment in the description box below. Let me know if you've tried them and which one your favorite is. If you have tried them, I think that'll be helpful for other people. As most of you know, the ProSmart iron is a little bit more pricey than some other irons out there, but I also will say that I have been through several irons and with the amount of irons that I had to repurchase because of brown water or water spewing or water leaking or any of those kinds of things, um, I could have just bought one of these to begin with. And I I have so far um, not had any of those issues with that. I did have a few of another brand. I went through three of their irons and all three of them ended up spewing out brown icky water all over my fabric. Um, and one even kind of popped like it was gonna catch on fire. It was kind of scary. Um, and then I got this one and I have yet to have any kind of issues like that with it. I've never had water leak out of it. Um, I've never had it spew out any colored water. Uh, this face on the bottom is very easy to um, clean off as you can see it's nice and smooth and I actually did have one of my daughters try and iron <laughs> some nylon stretch pants <laughs> and she did not know that you were not supposed to do that with an iron and she melted it all over my pressing pad and all over the bottom of my iron that was not good but as you can see it all came off so no worries there and then same with this little guy he's got i don't want water spilling out of him he does spill water um, but he's got a nice easy to clean surface as well and i do have a tutorial on how to make this pressing board i also have a tutorial on how to clean your irons on my channel as well so i will link both of those in the description box below if you have any questions on either one of these irons please feel free to leave me a comment and i will do my best to answer that for you i know these can be kind of an investment now they did send this to me um, to check out and review on my channel which was really nice of them um, but honestly after using it i would definitely recommend it and i would definitely buy a new one um, in the event that this one ever dies all right guys, so those are my thoughts on the Aliso Pro Smart Iron and the Mini. Obviously I have them both in this cute pink color, but they do come in other colors. So I will put a link to the exact ones I have in the description box below this video. So you can just click the little show more link down there and you can get information on both of these. Thank you so much for joining me for today's review. If you liked it, please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe. That way I know to keep making videos like this for you and I will see you next time. Like my hair.
my hair. Still haven't gone to the hairdresser. It's been since January. All right, here are my no steam samples for both and no steam samples for both. And so as you can see, these both perform up. I gotta stop touching it. <laughs> it's, all, it it's always moving, guys. <laughs> That's one thing that you definitely have to get used to. Okay, um, these are both in my opinion, quite long cords. Obviously the minis is just a little bit shorter. And I burned my finger. Huh? I burned my finger. Okay. Um, You're on my camera right now. No, I'm not. <laughs> Here is the one for the Pro Smart. And this one is still plugged in. And tied in a knot. <laughs> there we go. So that is my review for both the Oliso Pro Smart and the Elus. So that's my review for both the Al Bandit. Shh. Oh, that's what I need to film. The squirting together. So it's like 90 outside, and I've got studio lights on me. Ooh. Okay, come here, Beth. Very long cord. If you have any questions about either one of the irons, feel free to leave a comment in the in the description box below. No. Ba -na -na -na.